Alrighty, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys the best settings for you guys to play Pokemon Sword and Shield on the PC for the Yuzu Emulator. Now, this is basically an update video to the previous video I made, but since Pokemon Sword and Shield is considerably at a fully playable state on the Yuzu Emulator, there's a couple more things that you guys can add um, to improve your performance while you're playing this game on the PC. But before we get started with the video, Please make sure you guys leave a like, share, and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel because I'll be making a lot of emulation videos in these upcoming days. So I don't want you guys to miss out on that. So make sure you guys subscribe and leave a like because I'll greatly appreciate appreciate that. So without further ado, let's get right to it. So there'll be a certain a uh, couple of mods we're gonna be messing around with today. Um, we're gonna use the force force max resolution, HD texture, XD, HD textures. Um, retextured, no outlines, and you guys can mess around with the rig buffs. This just basically makes um, the AI um, a little bit better in max rate battles, and this is to fix the crash when you press Y. Um, for some reason, it crashed when you're trying to go to the internet or something like that. It, it makes sense because Yuzu is not made to play online, so yeah, that's basically it. So we're mostly going to be messing around with these mods mostly. There's mostly like resolution stuff. But first things first, to even get started, you gotta go to the configure tab. You're gonna be messing around with certain things. You go to the graphics tab, enable GPU emulation, make your 4, 4X native to at least help to push 4K. And then you go to the advanced tab, you need to disable, disable everything. And the multi core feature, go on high, press OK. You're basically good to go. So first things first, we're gonna enable the 60 FPS, 60 FPS patch. Go to properties. Nothing there yet. Open this up. Now first things first, open the mod data location. With that, I'm gonna basically drag it. 60 FPS on. Um, Hack, close it, you close it, go to properties, make sure it is enabled, press OK for that. And then you're going to be downloading a couple of, of resolution to help the experience better when you're playing on the user emulator. So you're going to download this, XD texture mod, and go back a little bit. Do no outlines. I'm gonna download some of these too. So I'm basically downloading all these mods. So we're gonna be trying out all of these. Now it's gonna take quite a while. I believe there's four. So in the meantime, minimize some of these. Put the no outlines right here. Put the the retexture, force max resolution, and the last one, the retexture alpha. That can wait. So while we're doing that, we're gonna enable some of these real quick. The no outlines. And when you go on it, um, FS, I don't have which version of the game, so I basically, by default, is going to work with both versions of the game. Open it up. There's no outlines. Close that up. And make sure it is, I don't have two versions. It works for both versions, so gotta make sure it works for both versions. Just wait a little bit. Did it crash the user emulator? I do not know. Probably did. 
from what that, it did not crash it. Now force max resolution. Now let's check if there's two versions of the game just in case we need to enable it. Nope, there's no two versions. So it works for both versions of the game. And after that, we're gonna check if the mega link still works. It's completed. Did we get it? Retextured, yep, we got it. So I'm gonna drag it down. All right, like I said before, to make the process more easier, um, if you guys wanna download these things one by one, I'll leave in the description to individual links where you guys can get these things. But so far, I'm just gonna drag and drop these. Oh, I forgot to open it up. And we're gonna close that. I'm gonna drag this. This is basically full on resolution mods. And some of these may not, some of these may crash due to the fact that almost all of these are the no outlines, the retexture, forks, force max resolution, ah, max resolution, <laughs> and the retexture mod. Some of these may crash the emulator, but let me see if we can enable all of them. As you can see, all of these are enabled. All right, soon as I boot it up, let me see if we can enable all of these at the same time. Mostly some of these are, some of these resolution um, scaling are better than one than the other. So it's mostly messing around with them. I'm basically showing you guys how to enable it, so. Oh, I think some of these cannot work due to the fact that, no, it actually does work, that's weird. JK. Is this correct information? As you can see, you can go end game. With all of these enabled, switch <laughs> is pretty shocking. Pretty shocking. And does it run smoothly? It runs pretty smoothly. Thing. See how much of the difference is it? Wow, this game looks a lot much better on PC. A lot much better. So yeah, this this is it. This works. I can see the properties works. Like I said, I'll leave in the description down below for all of this for you guys to download. And yeah, that's basically about it. If you guys enjoyed this video or find this video any helpful at all, feel free to leave a like, share, it, and subscribe if you guys are new to this channel because I'll be making more emulation videos like this in the near future. And yeah, guys, this is your boy Baritone. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.